Hey everybody, this is Mr. V and this is Apes Review Video Topic 9.5 on Global Climate Change. So in the previous ones we talked about the greenhouse effect and how some of those, and how that gas, um, those gases have been com coming up and causing the greenhouse effect to be more uh, intense. And so in this one, some of the things we want to point out is that there is natural greenhouse effect, right? So the greenhouse gas fluctuations are normal, right? There have been major shifts historically, but we've been able to look at ice core data to be able to compare previous CO2 levels to current CO2 levels. So here's what some of that looks like. As you can see, the CO2, which is in the blue, has previously fluctuated up and down, and the Antarctic temperature, which is taken from those ice cores in the last 800,000 years, has also fluctuated up and down pretty similarly. You can say they correlate pretty well. Well, most recently, you can see the CO2 levels where we are at um, are closer to and above 400 now. And as you can see, there's likely going to be some sort of a proportional response in Antarctic temperature, which is going to be a major problem. So that's going to end up being several problems, actually. You're going to end up with rising sea levels, more disease vectors, habitat loss. The ocean conveyor, conveyor belt is going to probably be altered. And of course, you're going to have soil issues and then movement or migration in response. So, you know, it is something that you're going to see a change in. It's not going to be the end of the world, as some, you know, uh, would make you or have you believe, but it will be a significant change in the world and there will be some uh, adaptations that need to occur. So as you can see, in 2013, the International Panel of Climate Change, um, they, they did a report and they showed, you know, what are the, what's the outlook for the next 100 years? Um, and they showed, you know, if the temperatures continue to go on a high range, here's what we're going to look at, up to a four degree change. Um, in the orange, is going to be up to a two degree change, or in the blue or the light blue, anywhere between one to half a degree. So, you know, right now, we are currently on that middle to high range right now, that orange and red. And so things are not looking very good. And some of the issues from the previous slide may end up continuing, continuing to occur. And so there are going to be some positives. I can't say it's all negative because generalists are going to thrive and you're going to have some new habitat available with the you know, expansion of tropic, tropical areas or subtropical areas. But that's a problem that um, is going to push out specialists and other species that live there as well. So couple positives for some species, others not so much. And of course, this can lead to a positive feedback loop. So as the ice and snow melt, that's going to be less albedo, less reflection of sunlight back out into space. So that means there's going to be more heat trapped. And then there's methane that's trapped in the permafrost. And if you remember from climate, from our um, greenhouse gases, methane is a pretty potent greenhouse gas in the middle of there. And that's going to lead to more climate change. So remember, positive feedback loop doesn't mean that it has to be good it means that the same problem is going to continue to occur. So that's what's going to happen uh, in those events. So here's a bunch of links to help you uh, with, that, uh, with this topic. And uh, hopefully these will be helpful, and hopefully this has been helpful. Thank you.